A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener out there. I am Yemi Grisman Adulogu, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Samanda UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria. Welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. For our meditation, I'd like us to consider the word of God from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 66, from verse number seven to verse number nine, Isaiah 66, seven to nine. The scripture says, before she traveled, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who have had such a thing? Who have seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth, and not cause to bring forth, saith the Lord? Shall I cause to bring forth, and shut the womb, saith thy God? The third quarter of 2020 is about winding to a close in a few days. And the year has been a very, very troublesome year, a year of great challenges and very difficult for so many people, particularly because of the COVID-19 pandemic that caused many doors to be shut against people. But I'd like you to look at the promises and the word of God in this, passages, this passage of scripture and these verses that we have just read. The scripture says, before she traveled, she brought forth. And so, there is a period of traveling and a period of bringing forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered. Now, this is the ninth month, which is winding to a close. And nine is the number for strength and for delivery, for fruitfulness. When a woman gets pregnant, she's expected to deliver in the ninth month. And you are expected to think to birth and to have delivered something this ninth month. As we take stock in the year 2020, it is very important. The year, like I said, is winding to a close. Um, the third quarter in a few days will be over and we face with the last three months of the year. What have you brought forth? What have you delivered? In spite of the pains and the pressures and the travail that you have gone through in this year, what have you brought forth? Now, various and different people are in different stages and categories in life. Now, the scripture says in verse 8, But who has had such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day, or shall a nation be born at once? Now, they see that God is a God of process, and there are very many people going through a process. God will process you before he brings you to the place he has prepared for you. He has prepared a place for you in destiny, in glory, but you have to be processed for your place uh, because whatever has not been processed will, will end up in nonsense. So who has that such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? The earth does not bring forth in one day. It goes through a process. And maybe you are going through your own process at this moment. My advice is that you do not circumvent the process, but that you go through it to the end. Do not circumvent the process. Go through your process. It is important because God is a God of process. And never forget, anything, anyone not processed will end up in nonsense. And so, there is a processing stage at which so many are. Are you in the period of your processing? Please go through the process. Verse 9 says, Shall I bring to birth and not cause to bring forth? After the processing stage is the bringing forth stage. So many have brought forth, even in the midst of this pandemic. And I perceive in my spirit, man, you have gone through your own process and you are at the bringing forth stage. It is time for you to bring forth something meaningful, something tangible. You must have something to show in this outgoing year. That in spite of the pandemic that ravaged the world and our nation and did not spare our nation, I've got something to show under God. So you must have something to show. And so God has brought you through the processing stage to the bringing forth stage. So it is time for you to bring forth. And what do you do to bring forth? A little push, a little traveling to bring forth. Now look at what the scripture says. 
Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? No way. No. God gives the strength. God will not shut the womb. It won't cause you to come to the point of breaking forth and shut the womb. And so I perceive in my spirit and I say prophetically that it's a major bringing forth about to take place in your life. You are about to deliver your miracle. God intends to make this September for you a September to remember. Something major is about to happen. Open your heart. Let, your faith, be, let faith be stirred up in you. Get set for something mighty in the Lord. God has not and he will not shut the womb. He has brought you to, to the place of bringing forth. Shall I bring to birth and I stand for you? Receive strength now. Push and bring forth. Bring forth a major miracle. Bring forth a major testimony. Bring forth your heart's desires. Strength is imparted to you. Grace is released upon you. In the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Remember to appear before the Lord tomorrow to give him thanks for bringing you to the last Sunday in the month of September and thank him in advance for the things he will yet do before the year is over. Join and the Lord bless you as we give thanks to God in our family Thanksgiving service. Till I come your way again tomorrow morning for another exciting edition of our program, I am Yemi Grisman at Luju, wishing you a very wonderful weekend and the Lord bless you.